In 2015, version one of the Unsung Business Heroes concept captured the attention of businesses, radio stars, mayors, and even the federal treasurer. And now, you can be a part of version two in 2016. And here's just a small sample of some of the priceless advice for business from the first edition. I've always instinctively understood that mountain climbers don't go from peak to peak. They come down and go up another one. Know what your, your strengths are, realise what your weaknesses are, and don't be too vain that you can't let go of your weaknesses and employ somebody to handle those areas. It's really, really difficult. So you've got to have a tremendous amount of stickability, but then on the other side, you've also got to know when it's time to, to change tack. My advice for someone starting in business today is to get clear on, get clear on your strategy, understand what it is that you're uh, uh, wanting to do, and just keep doing it. Uh, I think at, at, at the end of the day, what gets you over the line is absolutely sheer determination. Personal low time will create a business low time. The leader sets the tone. And, and I think one of the significant pennies that's dropped for me, you know, all the little nuggets of information that's dropped for me is the observation that the leader sets the tone. You need to be resilient, but you've got to work very, very hard uh, in the early years throughout your small business career. And the final thing is back yourself. Believe in yourself. It's not going to happen overnight, but it will happen if you believe in yourself and you back your ability to succeed. I'm a big believer that people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And I think that being able to impact the business from scratch, um, right from the beginning, that's a really good place to start. Why are you going into business?